Now over the years, Toyota has matured as its competition gets stronger. We've seen it in vehicles like the Corolla and the Camry that have styling now that's forging ahead instead of catching up. And we're finally seeing it in this, the 2014 RAV4, which in 2013 went from being a funky and noisy little box to a compact SUV that has skipped light years ahead with its interior. Now for as good as my ride looks inside, this is actually the base model. This is the LE in front wheel drive and it starts at 23,870. Mine has an upgrade package, brings it up to 25,370. You can also get the LE in all wheel drive and the mid-range XLE comes in front wheel or all wheel as well. There's also a range topping limited, it comes in all wheel drive only and it comes in at 33,210. You can option it right to the top at 35,300. The RAV4 used to come with a choice of a four-cylinder engine or a V6. Now it's down to one. It's a 2.5-liter four-cylinder, making 176 horsepower, 172 foot-pounds of torque, and it's mated exclusively to a six-speed automatic transmission. I like the performance. It's linear, it's powerful, but it can get noisy. The engine can drone at certain speeds, and you get a lot of road noise in this vehicle. So you're going to have to take it on a test drive, especially on the highway, see if you can live with it. There's not a lot of steering feel, that's common for Toyota, but it does what it's supposed to do, handles corners pretty good. The ride is firm, but it's not too harsh. I've heard a lot of people complaining about the ride, but most of those were in the Limited where you get a lower profile tire. You have a higher profile tire on the LE and that gives you a little bit of a more pliable ride. I like the performance of this four cylinder. It's got linear acceleration and it's fairly powerful. It's got an eco setting if you want to get better fuel economy. It's also got a sport setting. That one I find is just a lot of noise for not a lot of reward. The exterior styling has matured as well. I'm not entirely sold on it. The front fascia looks a little bit too heavy, almost like the car's got an underbite. And in the back, I think the tail lights with their flat top don't really work with the curvy style. But I do like the fact now that it's a lift gate and it's hinged at the top. It used to be a side opener and it always opened on the wrong side. If you were trying to load stuff and you were on the curb, you always had to walk around it. Now, just lift it up and it's a lot easier. One of the reasons compact SUVs are so popular is because of the driving position. You're up high, you can see everything around you, and the visibility in the RAV4 is actually quite good. The seats, well, they're comfortable for the short haul. They get a little hard on longer drives. The back seat, they're a little small because it is a compact SUV after all, and really, really tall people are not going to be comfortable, but most people should be okay. Fuel economy is pretty good too. The published figures, 8.7 in the city, 6.4 on the highway, and I'm getting about 8.7 in combined driving, which that's actually pretty good. Now as interiors go, I think this one's fantastic for the price. It looks great. You've got a cohesive sweeping design that goes from door to door. You've got large buttons that are easy to use, dials, touch screen radio, and the stereo integrates into a ledge in front of the passenger so you've got a place to put your stuff. The only drawbacks is because of this ledge, some of the controls are down the bottom, they're a little harder to reach, and it needs better backlighting. Only the driver's window button is lit up, and really, at night, the lock button should be too. You should be able to find everything in the dark. Now when it comes to money, it really feels like the RAV4 is value packed. There are some competitors that cost less, but you don't get as much power or you don't get as many features. This one's noisier than it needs to be, but the performance is really good. The interior is excellent. And in a compact SUV market, which is a very important one in Canada, Toyota has a contender.